What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. If not, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content we got going on on the channel. Today, we gotta do some work on the truck which is parked outside so we gotta swap some cars around. And then we'll talk about what's going on with the truck. Also this, I pulled out the interior in the trunk because I was trying to troubleshoot the stereo that I installed. If you didn't see the video of the stereo install, I actually made a reel about it and it's on my Instagram. So go check that out. I thought it came out pretty cool, but the stereo doesn't work. And I think I had to get to the amplifier, which was in the back. And then I started pulling out the interior and I'm just going to clean it, but I'm waiting for a warmer day or a sunnier day out to clean it up. So it actually dries, but that's why it looks like a mess like this. Let's swap them around. I know you may be thinking, what are we doing with the truck? I'm going to explain what we're doing with the truck. I've been putting this off, well, I've been kind of waiting on one part to do this whole thing, so I only had to do it once. And uh, I could show you how long I've been putting it off. I've been putting it off for so long that I forgot that I ordered this already, and I ordered another set. So, from what I've seen, it's the inner CV boot on just the driver's side. I'll get under here so you can see it. You see it's all greasy. That's a telltale sign that your boots has a tear in it or something. Anyone that's familiar with the channel will know that I've changed these boots um, at least twice on video, possibly have done it three or four times, to be completely honest, and these are the heavy duty boots, so um, kind of bullshit. And the, then the part that we've been waiting for, which is why I haven't done this project just yet, uh, we ate a bushing on these upper control arms. You see that one is like no longer there. So we got our new bushings in this week or last week. Shout out to Wyatt at Colorado Canyon Enthusiast. He went to actually pick those bushings up in person and ship them to me because CWF has been taking a long time to get those sent out, to be completely honest. But from my understanding, they're a smaller shop and they've been getting a lot of volume. So it's been hard for them to keep up with demand, I guess. Um, so we've been waiting on a little while for these bushings. They're finally here and the passenger side looks all right Passenger side boots look all right, so I'm just gonna deal with the driver's side I've been putting this off doing this and I still don't want to do it even though I have all the stuff So we're gonna do that and then we're also gonna try to take out the differential drop Because there's a group of people on the Facebook groups that are convinced that the differential drop is some of the problem with tearing these boots in my brain that doesn't make sense but I've torn a bunch of these. So at this point, I'm willing to try taking out the differential drop just to see if that helps. I noticed this the other day. I don't even know if it's worth it to me for me to go buy another boot. Um, to be honest, I, I just don't know. We broke this little dust shield boot thing off our bottom, sh off our rear shock on the passenger side. Um, I might just undo that bolt and take it off so it's not flopping around, but uh, yeah, that broke. Now, for my quick research, looking for a new one of those, it is a $12 part, it isn't a big deal. But, I didn't put it in my shopping cart to see, because I just assumed the shipping is gonna be like $20 for it. In which case, I'll just wait it out, till something else breaks, because that's what happens on this truck. Apparently everything breaks. Or I could probably just try to order it at a dealership, which would probably be easier and more cost effective. I should probably look into that now that I'm thinking about it. But I'm gonna shut up. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing I wanna do is rotate the tires, because I haven't done that in a while. And I know I'm missing wheel weights off one of the rear ones. I don't know which one exactly, and I think they're sitting in the corner over there on the floor, so if I could just glue them back on or something, hopefully that uh, rebalances the tires. But I'm gonna shut up, I'm just gonna get to work. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film because I do have videos doing this stuff already. So if you're interested in seeing upper control arms, I'll link the most recent one up in the corner, which is the CWF upper control arms, which I highly recommend those. If you have the King shocks in your truck, cause it kind of deletes the axle bind that I personally was getting with the peak suspension arms. No diss to them cause they were good arms. If you want a video on how to change the CV boot, I do have at least two of them that I could remember off the top of my head. So I'll link one of those in the top corner and you could go check that out. I'm just gonna start working here. The CV boot is messy work. I know this upper control arm is gonna be a little bit messy because of all the grease I pumped into it just to keep them nice and lubricated, but uh, we're just gonna get working and maybe we'll just come back when everything is apart. I don't know. And then I, if you didn't feel like clicking one of the other videos, maybe I'll give you a quick rundown. So I even have myself all set up nice 
everything. I WD-40'd everything just to make my life a little bit easier and I really don't feel like doing this. But it's something that's gotta get done because especially the bushing, the CV boot I'm not too concerned about but since I'm taking everything apart to get to the bushing, I'm doing the CV boot. Um, you're basically doing almost all the same stuff just to get to the axle. So we're just gonna... Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna put some music on, just get cracking with it. I forget if I have to take the entire, forget if I have to take this entire knuckle off to get the axle out. I think I could just get away with taking the brake caliper off, hanging that up. Just realized I set the camera up on the tripod and then I forgot to hit record, but uh, it would have just been a time lapse of me taking this stuff apart. So there it is. This is what the bushing looks like. That's the piece that came off of it. I don't know if it gets torn. And then the boot, there's a, there's a little pinhole in it somewhere, but you can see by the grease, that's what we're dealing with. Then like I said earlier, I'm gonna remove the diff, uh, the diff spacer, and I don't know where the shorter bolts are, so I might just have to flip the spacer to the bottom of it and continue this long ass bolt. Um, I might not have to, I think the bolt goes through the frame. Actually, we'll see how it looks, but uh, it's this guy here. So there's one of these on each side. And I think that was it. I don't think there was another bolt. I think it was just those two. It was a long time ago when I installed it and the ones in the front just, instead of the diff being like this, it like tilts it down a little bit. So then you don't have as sharp of an angle on your, your axles slash CVs, but mine still tear. So I'm gonna try to remove that completely and see if they last longer than me reaching into my driveway and the boots tearing. So let's see how that goes. I don't know. I was gonna say the annoying part's done, but the annoying part is really dealing with the CV boot because it's an absolute mess. But we got the whole thing apart and now we have to continue. I'm past the point of no return, everything's off. All I gotta do is just replace some stuff and then bolt it back together. I can't, uh, can't be lazy at this point. If you thought changing those bushings was messy, now we're gonna get messy. Well, there's the hole, I found the hole. Uh, if this is you and you have stock CV boots on your truck and one tore, uh, most likely tore a lot worse than this because I remember the first time mine tore, it was actually completely ripped apart and there was like a very light colored grease all over. The new grease that comes with it's darker colored. That's why it doesn't look the same if you had the stock boots that tore. If your stock boots tear and even if one of them tears, change both of them. And the easier way to change it is going from the inner side. The outer side was the one that tore on me the first time and I did it from that side the first time and it's a little bit more difficult disconnecting the CV joint thing from the outer. The inner, there's just a little snap ring in there that holds it in and all you gotta do is just take like a little pliers and pull that out. Then the whole CV unit thing comes off, this whole, this whole like cup comes off at once. So do it from the inner if you can. If you already upgraded the boots and your outer one tore, just deal with doing the outer, but inner is easier. By the way, I know I'm just time lapsing this because I have other in-depth videos, but if you're just following along in this video, I'm gonna post all the stuff down below with Amazon links if you need any of this stuff. These boots, they if you put in if you put in this truck on Amazon, it shows up as it does not fit. These boots 100% fit the truck. I've been using these boots the past few times. I did order, the first time I ordered the Peak Suspension boots, which are a lot more expensive than these, and from my understanding, they're the same boot, and those boots tore also, so um, I'm gonna post these down below, and then also to make your life easier, I'm also gonna put the little tool for the clamps. Then the rest is just other random stuff I think you're gonna need if you're doing this yourself which you probably, I mean, you could do this yourself. So just my luck when I turned the camera off, which I kind of knew, I was kind of expecting something was gonna happen. <sighs> Calm down a little bit, I was a little annoyed, but this little retaining ring, um, it's now in two pieces. So it will probably hold, and I don't know where you even source another one of those. What we're gonna do here, I actually called my local, uh, my local Chevy dealer, and they have a new axle in stock. So we're gonna go get a new axle. This sucks. And I guess I'm gonna see if they have that boot 
cover thing for the rear shock since I'm already going, so I might as well check it out. Like I said, this is pro it's probably all right. And what I'm actually gonna do, I think, is see if I could find one of those pieces because they don't sell just that piece. I've been looking for the past half hour. Can't find just that piece. So I'm gonna see if I could find one from like the local like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or, or something like that. Then I'll put it back on, put it all together with new heavy duty boots. And I guess we'll have that as a backup. This sucks. Oakley dokley. So we're back from the dealership. We got a new axle from the dealer. And while we were there, I ordered the dust shield boot thing for the rear shock. So that should be here tomorrow, I think he said, but I'm in no rush for that one because that's not a big deal. It's just a broken piece of plastic that's not really doing anything. One of the problems we're gonna deal with is these boots are made out of paper mache and they're just gonna tear, especially with our truck just really just being level, they're gonna tear. And with the extended Kings, they have more droop than stock, so these boots aren't gonna last long. So what I'm gonna probably do here, which I really don't wanna do because I wouldn't have to do it, um, is change the boots. Luckily, I bought an extra one of these, so I have two of them on hand to swap out. Looks like that's what we're gonna wind up doing. Yes, it sucks. Yes, I probably could find other options on what to do here um, to get that piece. That little ring, snap ring, I don't even know what it's called, retainer clip or something. There's more than half of that to go in the little CV, so it's probably fine, but I don't wanna take any chances. This is our main like daily workhorse, do whatever the hell we need to do with vehicle, and then the BMW over there is just kind of more like a fun car, which it can be used in emergency situations, like today, to go to the dealership to get this new axle. 90% of the time we're using the truck and I can't afford to have the truck just sitting here in the garage in its current state waiting on parts. So we bit the bullet, not happy about it, but we gotta move on. All right, we're back to where we were, kind of. I still have to do the other side, but this is the color grease I was talking about, so this will wind up, gonna clean that out a little bit more. Um, this will all wind up in your fender liner wheel well, and it looks a lot worse than when they give you the dark colored stuff. I got this in the vise between two pieces of wood so I don't mess up the uh, little spline here. I took some of this grease out because there was a big glob of it. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more into it, but I'm gonna leave the majority of the factory grease in there, but the other side isn't gonna be so much the same because I kind of cleaned the other side out because I'm going from the other side. So I'm just gonna clean this ring off a little bit. I wiped this down with some brake clean just to get all the, all the grease off of it as much as possible. Then I'm gonna just put this boot on and clamp it on. Then we're gonna do the other side, which we gotta reassemble the other side. Got this all back together. Still a little greasy here and there, but the majority of it's off. What we're gonna do is get that back into the differential, then start bolting everything back together. If you're following along, if you made it this far and you have any questions about stuff that's been going on, leave your question down and below in the comments. I will try to do my best to answer it to the best of my knowledge, because I'm a professional at this point. So I think we're just gonna do a little YouTube magic because I don't feel like filming this. I just wanna be done with this project, so be right back. I'm trying one thing different with this. I'm actually not routing the hose for the reservoir for the Kings behind it like you're supposed to. I'm gonna try to run it in front. I'm actually gonna see when I put the tire on to make sure it's like nowhere near it, but I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near it. Only because it looks as if it's starting to rub a little bit over here. So I figured if I put it on the front, it can't rub against the thing at all. So um, it's actually not even touching anything now. So we should be good. So, that's it. That was absolutely horrible and I hate my life. Really, it's not the end of the world. It sucks that I had to go buy another axle, but technically, I mean, I guess I didn't have to, but I kind of needed one in a rush, so 
It is what it is because you can't just buy that piece straight from GM. You have to buy a full axle. I know you could probably go to, you could probably go to AutoZone or a different place to find one. Now I have time to go find that piece before we have to use the truck tomorrow, at least. So I bought myself some time and I'll just have a spare axle at this point. I hope you learned something. If you if you did, hit that like button. Once again, if you have any questions about stuff that was going on in this video, leave the comments down below. I'll do the best I can to answer it and hit that subscribe button. If you want to help the channel out in any way, use the affiliate links down below. Helps me out, helps you out, helps everyone out. If you want new LED headlights or something for your truck, use that Oxido link with my discount code. And I'll be putting a bunch of Amazon links down below of the tools I used in this video. And also I'll probably just put the upper control arm video and one of the CV boot videos at the end of this video for you to click if you didn't click in earlier. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.